Hey guys, welcome to Mate Monday. I'm Felicia Fallum, and this is where I answer your guys' questions about art, culture, travel, diversity, any of the things that I focus on. Today I'm going to talk about conducting a workshop, and I'll go through some of the tips that I use for how I prepare and how I my, how my attitude is during the class, as well as how to respond after the class. All of those logistical things, get those ready during the class. Have a free spirit. Have have a fun time. Uh, teach one maybe one core concept and have fun. Those are your goals. Have fun should be at the top of your goal list. And then the last thing is when you're done, don't beat yourself up over it. Know that it went well. If people had fun and learned anything, it went well. And those are those are things I'll talk about in this video. Stay tuned for more. So today's question came from Richard Santiago the second and he says I do have a question what should be my mindset when conducting an art workshop when conducting an art workshop I tend to look at the time the number of people I want in the class and how long it takes to do the project, those types of things. Like, so kind of the logistics, because that's where I struggle. So I put my effort into planning the things that I struggle and then that um, struggle in. And in preparing to get the timeline right, I will create samples that are in various stages. So actually, I will show you guys my samples now. The most recent workshop I did was a collage workshop. So when I'm conducting a workshop or preparing to teach one, I always have to think about the timing and how long each step will take. Also, I have a hard time articulating myself, and so finding a way to communicate each step of the process and breaking down my process into actual steps, and also projects or assignments depending on if it's a multi-day workshop. So the last workshop I taught was a collage class and I part of how I went through and arranged the time was I had collage examples for each step of the process. I guess I'll go in order. So one blank one where I did the first step and put collage paper on. And I have one like this that was ready and I would take and add maybe more textures to it and then I would take and add some paint layers on top of it and show them about painting. I would take this one and put the collage element onto it. And then I would take the collage element and add the last texture. So I have a sample of each step. And I practice those steps on my own and I have a bunch ready to go. So when I work, I work with a bunch anyways. Another strategy that I use when teaching or preparing for an art workshop is I practice on someone. I like to practice on my mom or a friend or a group, maybe a Bible study group, and just tr practice and see how it works, to see how my idea is going. Um, and that way I have an example of like, how much time did it take? What are the steps? How do I break it down? How do I speed it up? How do I slow it down? That's, like I said, for me, timing is the most difficult part. Uh, I think that when you're doing a workshop with adults, it's totally different than with kids. With kids, you have to be very structured and regimented and, on, and ready to go. With adults, oftentimes they're there to socialize. So they don't listen, they don't pay attention, they just want to have fun with each other. And so your mentality, your attitude is very, very different with adults because you want to foster the environment that they can have fun and learn some, learn a little bit, but also have fun and talk a lot more. And I think you cover less sometimes with adults because they're there to socialize and that's okay. That's the purpose of the class. Art is a great way to facilitate a community and environment like that. I love that about teaching art. So don't, don't let that discourage you. Uh, one of the most important things though is, is the discouragement factor. I think even though I've taught for a while now, I almost so many classes and so many workshops, I feel like I beat myself up over it and I feel like it just went terrible. I feel like I did everything wrong. I feel like I should have done this differently. I feel like I should have done that differently. And usually people had fun. If you focus on people having fun and learning one skill or learning how to do one piece, they're happy and they had fun and that's great. That's what it's about. Uh, even if you feel like it went really poorly, but be, don't be afraid of feedback. Like for me, I always feel like it went really poorly and that's just part of it. It's part of the learning process and that's okay. So yeah, be confident in what you're doing, have fun, practice, practice speaking, practice the words you're going to say, practice how you're going to do it. Write out an outline. I usually write out outlines. I write out an outline that says introduction, step one, step two, step three, and I lay out the pieces. So I have a very organized side and a very not organized side. I use my organized side in preparing 
and then my organized side and the looseness comes out during the workshop. It makes it more fun, it lets it flow, but the organization keeps it moving. Also pacing, uh, kind of like public speaking, where when you see people kind of dozing off or getting, they say like when there's an applause or a laughter, you begin the next speaking part at the, like when it becomes, it starts to go down. So like, ah, it kind of dies out. When it starts to die out is when you do the next step or the next thing. And that's important to follow too. My, my initial response to this question was actually just do it, do it. And then you'll see what works and doesn't work and make additions next time, make changes. You'll see what works for you, what works for your style. My children's teaching style is very different from another woman in our community. And I like if her, her students and my students are very different people groups. So what works for you might not work for another person. And that's great. The art community needs both. Uh, your town needs both. Um, just keep doing it. Don't give up and keep doing it. So that's, those are my, my tips. Uh, I'll run through them again, not in order, but um, my tips are to be prepared. Think about the logic and the time of the progression of the project. Don't be scared to mess up and go with the flow. I think those were them. <laughs> um, and, oh, I put honey in there. That's the first um, clean drink latte, the first one's like really, really strong and I forgot that I let it sit for way too long. So I'm gonna... But I still like it because I put honey in it. Um, 